Welcome back to my Living Life with Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy Series. As you know, I'm Ryan. The last two weeks I've talked about seventh grade, the academic aspects, and I alluded to scouts and scout camp. In this video, I'm going to talk specifically about scout camp and how I did it as somebody in a wheelchair. I attended a scout camp at a Boy Scouts of America scout camp before seventh grade, and then a homemade one locally on our mountain after seventh grade. All through scouting, I had great leaders. As an 11 year old, I had one named Elvin Engel, who without him, I probably wouldn't have gotten started in scouting. He did a lot of work to know how to help me and what to do. And scouting said to let him do as much as he can. And that was if it was the best I could do, that was enough. And then I had Bill Kempton when I was 12 and 13, who would later become one of my best friends. And I know all of his family, grew up with him, and I think they all did a lot to help me with scouting. Also, when we went to scout camp, he took his brother-in-law, Angus McIntosh, with him, who was a Navy SEAL and a great guy. So, I, that was at that time I was using a manual wheelchair, but if scout camp was up in the mountains, it wouldn't have made it. So Bill Kempton kind of scrapped some bikes and made me a three-wheel bike that I could take up to scout camp. Let me tell you, 12 and 13-year-old boys, we had fun with that thing. And being three-wheeled, not very careful, I got dumped out a lot. But mostly it's my fault. But as you might guess, I couldn't go up there and stay in a tent by myself. This was up in the northern part of Arizona. I live kind of in the south. So my parents went up there in the camp trailer and that's where I slept every night. But because I was there, my unit troop got to sleep by the bathrooms, which were handicap accessible. And I'll tell you some funny stories about that in a minute. I did bird study, leather work, canoeing, I think maybe one other. At the end they had a fun event, but I really could have done more merit badges than I did. The canoeing one was pretty funny. They had a quote unquote lake there with fish in it, and we fished in it. The little teeny tiny bluegill came out. And during the canoeing merit badge, I was with my friend Colton, and he had to get out, since I couldn't, and practice getting in the canoe. Well, that water is maybe a foot and a half deep at the most, but hey, we still got our merit badge. So back to the story of the bathrooms. There were squirrels all over the place. One day we were coming up the path back to our camp and all of a sudden out of the bathroom comes a squirrel with a mouth full of toilet paper. He's taking running as fast as he can. The big long stream of toilet paper, paper out behind him. That's pretty funny. I'm not going to tell you all the other stories. 
let's just say squirrels, 12 and 13 year old boys, and pine cones on the ground. It can be a little bit dangerous mix for squirrels. But you didn't hear that from me. But because of these boys that I went with, and you guys know who you are, and my parents and leaders, I had a blast. And I really enjoyed it. The next summer, we went up on Mount Graham. Mind you, I live in kind of the southeast of Arizona. It's about 3,000 feet down here. The top of Mount Graham is about 10,000 feet. So it's July. You can imagine it's pretty hot down here. But up on top of that mountain, it was freezing. And again, my parents stayed in a camp trailer and I slept there at night. And they took me there every day. So it was great. I loved scouting. I eventually became an Eagle Scout, which I'll talk more about later. At that homemade scout camp, I got first aid merit badge, rifle shooting merit badge, archery shooting merit badge, environmental science, and I think one other one. So it was very productive. For the first aid merit badge, we had to do CPR. So I couldn't physically do the CPR, but I had to know all the steps to be able to explain to somebody else. For archery, I couldn't pull the drawstring back enough to hit the target, but I made an arrow, pulled the string as much as I could and launched it. So that was enjoyable. I love scouting, I'm thankful for my experiences with it. And it's been a positive I've taken with me throughout my life. Throughout my life, Bill Kempton has always been there for me and helped me immensely. So I'm very grateful for everything. In the next video, I'm going to do something different than I have. I haven't really been talking about the things we went through to get me ready and all the things my mom did for me. But I'm going to talk about everything that went into getting me ready and my routine up to seventh grade. And from there on, I will incorporate that into the videos. I thank you. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe and watch the other videos that I make with Sarah. Thank you and have a positive day.